Hello all you goobers and geezers, welcome back to the channel of an artistic degenerate. My name's Gibster, and today's episode is a collaboration with a friend of mine known as Lava Tyrant. But what is this collaboration, and how will it evolve going forward? You guys might remember the first collaboration I did with Lava Tyrant, in which we turned superheroes into fake him on. He did Mina Ashido from My Hero Academia, and I did Spider-Man from Marvel Comics. And of course, you know, I was inexperienced back then, since it was a long time ago, but seeing as we have both grown, we're expanding it. I'm introducing the Sanzamar region. Sanzamar uh, comes from cinema and Sanskriti, which is a Bengali word that Lava told me about. I believe it means a uh, popular culture. Like pop culture, which is what the region is going to be about. Turning pop culture characters into Pokemon. But that's not all it'll be about. As me and Lava will also turn some characters from our own two series, Acroverse and A Journey into the Endless Void, into Pokemon. However, of course, this is going to be the only video this year of it, and there's probably only going to be one video next year for it as well, since, well, I'll be uploading a lot next year, but Lava, eh, not so much. It's just the life of being a YouTuber, I guess. But, um, before we get into it, I do have a little thing I want to talk over. Something I think we should go over is Ultra Beast classifications and how they apply to evolutions and alternate forms. The only Ultra Beast to evolve in Sun and Moon were Sogole and Winala, who both evolved from Cosmoam and Cosmog, but none of them have UB classifications. Until in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, more Ultra Beasts were added, two of them being Poipole and its evolution Naganadel, which confirms that if an Ultra Beast evolves, it changes UB classification. However, when it comes to form changes, the only Ultra Beast that changes forms is Necrozma, which is another Ultra Beast that doesn't have a UB classification. We took this matter into our own hands and decided that if an Ultra Beast changes forms, its classification will follow the same changes as if it evolved. So let me tell you a bit about the Ultra Beast in today's video, based on Lava Tyrant's avatar. While many may know this character as Lava's avatar, he is in fact an original character with loads of lore. His name is Zane Cypress, or simply Z. Originally a member of the Cypress crime family, he was one of the greatest bounty hunters until he was killed in an accident. Upon death, he would be recruited by Grimm, the god of death, to be the reaper of his galaxy. So, basically a Grimm reaper-like being. He would later have more hijinks throughout the storyline of Lava Story, Infinite X Chaos. He will make videos on the lore and story soon, but afterwards he gets caught up in the Lava Tyrant cycle upon killing the previous Lava Tyrant known as Morgan, who is a recurring villain and a god of light, which is a big thing in this universe. This cycle is like the Avatar cycle, but the successor needs to kill the predecessor to become the next Lava Tyrant. Because of this, Z is eventually able to unlock his first form, Surtur Eclipse, which is very similar to Super Saiyan as it boosts his powers and gives him special powers as well. Later in the story, he goes even further beyond through training and unlocks a form akin to Ultra Instinct called Samadhi. As the name suggests, it's inspired by the true fire of Samadhi from Journey to the West. This form allows him to access an Ultra Instinct-like state, while also having fire that cannot be put out by water, and is extremely strong. This is a brief look into the lore, more of which will be talked about in the future of Lava Tyrant's channel.
love a Pokemon, a fire type. The white structure on Zacroc's face appears to be a mask. No one has seen what's under the mask, and no one knows how it got it. All we know is it is never seen with it off. In the world it's from, Ultra Blaze, it is revered as a deity, but the reasons for this are unknown. Something similar to it is seen in ancient text. Introducing Zacroc, the lava Pokemon. This extraordinary Pokemon hails from a distant realm of Ultra Blaze, an enigmatic Ultra Beast that has somehow found its way to the Sanzamar region. Inspired by the creative genius of Zane Cypress from Infinite X Chaos, Zacroc's design draws from the rich tapestry of reptilian influences, including the legendary Fire Salamander. And yes, I know, the Salamanders are amphibians, but Charmander has lizard-like claws despite being based on the Fire Salamander, so... It really makes the distinction matter little when it comes to Pokemon. This captivating design combines elements from the world of chameleons, evident in its tail and body shape, while its arms and mask pay homage to the fierce demeanor of crocodiles. Much like its muse, Zane, the croc wears a mask. The eyes of this mask bear a striking resemblance to swirling lava, a nod to Sir Grok's classification, and Zane's moniker as the Lava Tyrant. The names of Croc is a portmanteau of Zane and Crocodile, a testament to the synergy between these two influences. Its UB classification, UB cycle, references the Lava Tyrant cycle in which this Pokemon and Zane are a part of. The patterns on the design mirror Zane's distinctive appearance and attire while Zane's iconic blue hair transforms into a mesmerizing blue flame. And the shiny is inspired by Morgan, the second lava tyrant. Lavazari, original Eclipse, the Lava Pokemon, a fire and dragon type. The mask it wears seems to resemble the head of an ancient deity seen in text. 
Its body seems to be extremely hot. Its punches are strong enough to shatter its own physical form. But if this happens, Lovazari will use its heat to reforge itself. The locals in Ultra Blaze refer to this Pokemon with a name that is unrecognized and is unable to be written. Anytime the name is written, the object will combust into flames. Behold Lavazaryi, original eclipse, also known as You Be Herald. A truly awe-inspiring creation. This extraordinary evolution has its roots in an alternate incarnation of Zane known as Surtur Eclipse, a transformation unlocked when the blazing titan of fire, Surtur, grants Zane access to unparalleled power through the Lava Tyrant cycle. Drawing inspiration from the legendary Super Saiyan form in the Dragon Ball series, Lavazaryi's story is nothing short of an epic tale. The name Lavazaryi is a fusion of Lava, Zane, and Otachari, which translates to Tyrant in Bengali. A powerful and fitting title. Original Eclipse signifies the connection to the very essence of the first Lava Tyrant, Surtur. While Yubi Herald pays tribute to Zane's role as a herald for the incursion god from whom Surtur derived his incredible abilities. The enigmatic orange component of the Surtur Eclipse form remains a mystery to me, but for the original Eclipse Mon, it takes the form of an impenetrable glass-like substance, invulnerable to harm unless unleashed by Lavazari's potent built-up energy. But of course, as the Pokédex states, it can reforge itself. Surtur Eclipse, with its dark visage, draws inspiration from Scalding Tar. Well, the Mon does. I don't know about the actual form. While the distinctive horns find their origins in the shards, an element shared by both of Zane's formidable forms, seen above their heads. And the shiny references an old design for the Surtur Eclipse form that I do not have an image of, and instead I was described to by Lava Tyrant himself to make the shiny. Lava Zari, Tethered Samadhi, the Lava Pokemon. 
a fire and psychic type. This Pokemon seems to have achieved a form of... This Pokédex entry is classified. You are hereby warned. Any further attempts to access or disseminate this information will result in consequences. Your recollection of these details will be swiftly purged. And communication. Okay. So, that was weird. I'll try and get the Pokedex back up later. I think it's only broken. Prepare to embark into the mysterious realm of Wavazari Tethered Samadhi, also known as You Be Awakened, a Pokemon of unprecedented power. The very name You Be Awakened hints at the unleashing of its true boundless potential, signifying a transformation that has transcended all limitations. But the intrigue deepens with Tethered Samadhi. This enigmatic title which designs incomplete mastery of the Samadhi form, a concept you'll need to explore in the Lava's upcoming video series. Samadhi itself represents a spiritual state of mind, but there is a deeper layer to it. The true fire of Samadhi, inspired by the epic journey to the West. This powerful essence is worth a closer look. It's a divine force of enlightenment, a fire of unparalleled significance. And it can't be put out by water, so it's a cool bonus. The choice of colours for this form seems to reflect elements of spirituality, adding an extra layer of symbolism to Lavazari's evolution. Imagine a scenario where, in-game, you could discover the true fire of Samadhi Torch and bestow it upon Lavazari original eclipse. This item could unlock the transformative power of Samadhi. Think uh, it would pop up on the screen like how the Mega Evolution option does. However, there's a catch. This newfound strength comes at a cost. The Samadhi form, while the pinnacle of this Ultra Beast line's abilities, slowly drains Lavazari's HP, demanding wise and strategic use of its extraordinary might. And the shiny is of various shades of red, referencing Red Boy from Journey to the West, a character connected to the true fire of Samadhi. Of course, me and Olava are trying to make this a fully fledged series, and uh, well, the project will really get underway in under two years, and that's a long way away. The next video won't focus on starters, but we'll have to eventually. And it'll be around the third and fourth episode of this. So, here's where you guys come in. You get to suggest a starter. Each starter will be based on a character from a movie, a book, and a game. And you guys get to decide. For example, you could decide that the grass starter could be the movie character. The fire starter could be the book character, the water starter could be the game character. Or you could do something else, like for example, the water starter is the book character, possibly based on Percy Jackson or something like that. Maybe it's a character you wouldn't normally think to use for one of the types, but you've figured out a way to connect them somehow. These suggestions are entirely up to you. And if you've watched both Lava's and my videos, I'd suggest you make different suggestions on each so that we have more to pull from. And of course, the next video on Sansamar will also have the same suggestion prompt, which means we'll have double the suggestions for starters. So, let's get right on to the intro. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. The first episode of the Sansamar region series. And, uh, here's a little hint for a lot of his video. Of course, you'll be doing the exact opposite, turning my avatar, Gibster, into a Pokemon. He'll explain uh, some of the lore about this character and why I use him. Well, why I use him is because he was the only one drawn at the time of making these, and I figured, you know, I'll just draw some expressions. However, of course, there is other reasons as well, but I will not explain those. Anyway, in the next video, uh, next two videos will both be about lifting light and dark deep. 
the next video you will see some redesigns but there's also some new designs as well and coming up to halloween you will see a halloween special which will introduce seven new halloween focused pokemon and with that all said i'll see you all next time all right come on i can surely boot this thing back up again <clears throat> love azari tethered samadhi the love of Pokemon, a fire and psychic type. This Pokemon seems to have achieved a form of... Alright. Who's doing that? Hello? Okay, seriously. Is there anyone there? I'd hate to ruin the fun, but you were sent a warning. You, an adult likes Pokemon? Safe to say we knew your childlike obsession would cause you to slip, especially since we bugged your device. I'm gonna ask you this one time. Where are Sneaky, Dragon, and the rest of your little group? Oh, uh, he's still knocked out. I guess I won't ask one time. Men, take him with you. I didn't think a ninja with necromancy powers would be that easy to catch.